Welcome back to RPA and Survival. Thanks for coming back. If you haven't liked and subscribed, you're going to want to do that. So bottom right hand corner, hit that guy so you can get and then hit the bell so that you can get notifications as well when I come out with future videos. Very basic platform here. It's important when you're setting up any kit to take into consideration the 10 C's of survivability, whether it's a get home safe bag or you're just going out for a hike for the day, have the 10 C's of survivability on you or survival kit. First one is cover. This that you see here, this bed is backing. This is an emergency shelter. A tip when you're going out, always take orange with you. If you're in a survival situation, you'll want your cordage to be orange and you'll want your uh, cover to be orange as well. Okay. The underside here, you can find this on Amazon, um, has this reflective material so that when I get a fire going, it's going to reflect that heat back towards my body. When setting this up, it's important to have redundancies, meaning two is one and one is none. Don't have just one of each item on you guys, okay? Very important to remember, two is one, one is none. Here I have my poncho shelter. Um, I, it can be fashioned into a, uh, a shelter to keep the rain off my back. I can wear it as a raincoat so I can keep walking in case the weather conditions aren't that bad, but I wanna keep myself dry, which is very important. Use it as a rain jacket or cover. Either way, I'll be good to go. Cordage, remember, make sure your cordage is orange. I have green here uh, for covert reasons, especially for a get home safe bag. You know, I'm not going to want to be seen in a time like that. So I'm going to want everything to be blended with the earth, right? I have a video on how to set this up. Uh, these are two different cords. I have 550 paracord. You want it 25 to 30 feet for your rapid ridge line and number 36 bank line. I go into more detail on this and you can get that on the upper right hand corner. Next is container. I have the Pathfinder Canteen Cook Set developed by David Canterbury of the Pathfinder School. And you always want your containers to be steel. Why do you want them to be steel? So that you can purify your water. So that you can make char cloth out of your cotton bandana or even your clothing. You can make char cloth uh, cloth um, to spark future fires. All you got to do is strike your rod against that. I'll make another video on that. Moving on, we have our cover, cordage, container, right? Little nesting cup there. I got two ways. I've got two containers here. One for cooking and charring and uh, one for boiling water. Either way, works either way. I really like this bad boy. So cover, cordage, container. Next we have cutting tool. Right here you see a few. This is on me at all times. My little CRKT goes with me everywhere. Love this little knife. Benchmade Adamus. Really, really good knife. Bought this a few years ago. Still going strong. Throws a spark well. I love this knife. Acts as a good bearing block as well in case I need to fabricate a friction fire. Remember guys, if you have to start a fire by friction, you've done something wrong. It means that you have not carefully set up your survival kit. Okay, if you need to go to primitive lengths, you've done something wrong. So anyway, the Benchmade Adamus. Geotech Model 29. Another great knife, which you can find on Amazon. It's got a nice sheath. It throws a spark like a champ. And it has this nice little end here, which I use on my ferro rod to throw a spark and get a fire going. So that's nifty. That's great. Geotech Model 29. Always on me for survival and bushcrafting. So we have cover, cordage, container, cutting tool, nice little axe, little hatchet. My dad gave me this. Really love this thing, guys. This thing is awesome. I just, uh, I finished sharpening it, the, sharpening it the other day. So it's, the thing is real sharp, guys. 
and it has this really cool little divot in here for uh, for bush pots. Take it out of in and out of the fire, so I don't burn my hand. So there's that. Next is a compass. Have a good compass on you. This is the Sunto. Okay, know where you're going. It's got know how to use it, and it also has this uh, little magnifying lens here, which can also be used for sparking fires. You know, among other things. So this goes under. Um, the next one, which is a combustion device, right? So I can fabricate a fire with this. I can fabricate a fire with my lighter, combustion device. I can fabricate a fire via ferro rod, removing material onto my tinder source, creating a fire for me. I also have a video where I use Vaseline and it doesn't matter if, if you use cotton pads or cotton balls, soak them in Vaseline, put them away in a baggie, and they're waterproof. They'll still lighten um, even in the rain, right? And there they are right here in my, in my little survival kit right here. I have it all in here. Spark, spark it up and get a fire going. Weatherproof matches. Another great addition to your kit, right? So there's that. Weatherproof matches, you can find all this on Amazon. More combustion devices, okay? So I got the matches, I've got the lighters. You know, I, I have this to start uh, uh, fire even in wet weather. And I've got the ferro rod. One, two, three uh, forms of starting a fire. Five, magnifying glass. Five ways of starting a fire. So there you have that. Next, cotton sail and needle, which I actually do not have in here, guys. But uh, when it came time for me to actually repair some things, all I needed was cargo tape. As you can see, all I did was just, you know, I reinforced everything, made it a lot stronger with the cargo tape. I had one end rip on me. I've set the shelter up multiple times after putting the cargo tape on it and it held great. No complaints, cargo tape works great. But I need to get a cotton sail and needle. Also because you can use the needle to use, use the needle as a compass. It'll point directly north once you put it in water in, a, in your container, point you north. Next is candling device. Here I have my flashlight. I've got extra batteries for this bad boy, so I'm not really too worried about having more than one. Well, you know, I can also make candling devices out there in the bush. A, a pitch or a sap, you know, from the pine trees, a pine sap. So remember guys, knowledge is what keeps you alive. Not necessarily, you can have all these things, but if you don't know what to do with it, there. You need, to, you need to have the knowledge. So next would be a cotton bandana. Here you see one. I also like to use shemogs. Uh, these things are great. They're big. You can use them as tourniquets. You can use them to create um, char cloth to spark more fires. Rip off a piece, put it in your container. You make some char cloth. Use it as a tourniquet. Use it to stuff a wound. Use it to uh, keep the sun off of your face and your head, especially if you're bald like me. <laughs> uh, use it to keep, uh, maybe there's a sandstorm coming in. Keep the sand out of your eyes, right? You just never know. This stuff is great. Not only having, you know, this little bandana here, but these shemogs, I really, really highly recommend. And like I said, you know, you can never have too much cord on you. So that orange there is for survival. So... Cargo tape, as you've already seen, you know, I have a nice big roll that I keep in the car, but I also put my cargo tape on my fair rods, you know, especially ergonomically, like when you're out there and it's cold, you need something, you know, to grab onto nice and firm. So it's nice and big. You know, I got the cargo tape for extra grip, but I also put cargo tape on my lighters. It's about 15 feet of tape on each, uh, on each lighter there. 
so that's nice well there you have it guys those are the 10 c's of survival whenever you're making a survival kit always take these things into heavy heavy consideration have them have them have them have them and redundancies two is one one is none like comment subscribe and look out for future videos you guys take care